Hello everybody and welcome to Morzak EV, a channel dedicated to all things electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging and all related technologies. So in this video today, I wanted to go over some charge points that we would recommend installing in shared residential areas and small commercial operations. So, with the introduction of the new OLEV grant structures for 2022 and the additional funding available to SMEs and additional funding available to shared residential areas such as landlords and people living in rented accommodation who might have shared parking areas. If you don't know what those additional funding opportunities are, make sure you check out the video by clicking the link above. We thought it might be good to go over some of the more simple charging solutions that are available and would be applicable to shared residential and small commercial operations. Over and above this, there are more complex uh, commercial charging solutions, freestanding bollards, things with really complex back offices. But if you're a small SME or a small residential unit with shared parking areas, you probably don't want to go as far as investing in complex back offices and being able to bill end users. In that case, some of these charge point solutions will probably be applicable to yourselves. So we'll go through the options now. So with shared residential areas and small commercial operations, there are a few unique challenges. So firstly, a lot of these charge points will be installed on a three-phase supply. That does present some unique challenges and some of these chargers really lend themselves to those solutions. Another unique challenge is the fact that you might need additional security. So some of these charge points have the ability to lock themselves without any additional hardware or they have some kind of RFID solution. All of these charges we've, made, we've picked out here are really robust and we would trust that they would stand up in a small commercial environment or an area which has public access. Um, so they could take up to those extra abuses that are compared with what a home charger might face. Finally, some of these charge points also have the ability to be put on a back office solution. So that is expandable and they do have the capability to bill end users should you wish to do so further in the future. So obviously there's a way more charges available that are OLEV eligible and could be used in these situations. However, these are a few that we've had good experiences with and we've used recently. When we come to do a survey and talk to you about what your charging solutions might entail, we might suggest something completely different, but this is just to give a brief overview. And as I said, there are plenty of other options on the market that we might suggest to yourselves. Okay, so we'll start with the Easy Charge robot. Uh, we don't actually have one of these in stock at the moment, so all we've got is this cardboard cutout, but it does give you an appreciation of the size of it compared with the other chargers. The Easy Charge robot has a few advantages. It has some advanced load balancing features so that you can add additional chargers without adding additional cabling and without adding additional load onto the circuit and onto your incoming main supply. It does also have the ability to use RFID and it can be linked to a back office of your choosing. So overall, it's a great way of monitoring who's using the charge points and having extra charge points at your facility without the additional cost of upgrading your supply with your DNO, which could cost thousands and thousands. So the Easy Charge robot, as standard, comes as a 22 kilowatt charger. So it'll charge all cars at 22 kilowatts as long as there's enough available capacity on your supply. If you have only got a single phase supply, it can still be installed on that single phase supply and it'll charge cars at seven kilowatts. But then you have the option of up to upgrading your supply in the future to three phase and the charge robot will work with that three phase supply charging at 22 kilowatts. The Easy Charge robot is also available in five different colors. That's black, 
blue, red, white and grey. Next on to the My Energy Zappi. The Zappi has been a popular choice with uh, charge point installations, especially on three phase supplies because it has an advanced pen fault detection system, which means you don't need earth rods installing, which is really difficult in certain commercial environments and certain shared residential areas where you've got tarmac surfaces and you're gonna have to be doing a lot of groundworks to get to a point where you get a good earth rod with a good reading. So really neat solution. It has no back office compatibility, but it does have some advanced load management features and load sharing features. It also has the ability to lock the units with a pin lock. So if you're in an area where you're worried about somebody else using it, you can set up a pin code and you just put that in every time you want to plug in and unplug your, char your charging lead, making it really simple. Just give the pin code to anybody who needs to use the charge point. The My Energy Zappi comes in a seven kilowatt version and also a 22 kilowatt version. So if you have a three phase supply or you're thinking of upgrading to three phase in the future, you can purchase the 22 kilowatt version and then it will charge your vehicle at up to 22 kilowatts. It does also come in black or white and it comes in a tethered version or if you're installing it in an area where you might have multiple users and it might be used by the public, you can have it as an untethered version with a universal socket. The Indra Smart Pro, this has the ability to be linked to a back office of your choosing, should you wish to in the future. It also has an extensive set of pen fault detection systems, so it can be used with three phase supplies without needing the additional equipment installing such as the Mati device or earth rods and expensive groundworks. So the Sync EV is a small neat unit, really popular with home installs, but it also has some features uh, which could be used with small commercial operations and shared residential areas. Mainly, it has the ability to be used with an RFID key. So, if you're in a shared residential parking area, but you only wanna be able to use the charge point yourself, or a few members of your family, you can set up the RFID key, and then nobody else can pull up and start charging on your unit. It's available in tethered and untethered at seven kilowatts. In Europe, the Wallbox Pulsar Plus is really popular in shared residential parking areas and commercial operations. It comes in tethered only and is available in black or white, uh, but it has a few unique things that work with the, uh, in those environments. Namely, it can be upgraded to Wallbox's back office software. There are a few tiers in that. The free one is what most people use at home but there are additional levels which integrate load management facilities, um, monitoring of different users, and back office billing. It's really popular in its seven kilowatt version, but there is also a 22 kilowatt version. However, only the seven kilowatt version has a pen fault detection system. So you do need to bear that in mind. Finally, we have the Anderson A2. Again, this is super popular in certain commercial environments, mainly because of the way it looks. If that's a real concern to you, you've got a real modern looking building with minimalist architecture, this might be suitable. It comes in seven kilowatt or 22 kilowatt. It does come in tethered only in a five meter or eight meter version. The 22 kilowatt version of this only comes in a six and a half meter cable. And unlike all the other tethered chargers available on the market, the cable stows away neatly and is hidden away when not in use. So hopefully that gives you an overview of some of the possible options that you might wanna consider when you're looking at charge points for your small commercial business or for your hotel or in shared residential parking areas. Obviously, when you are looking at charging solutions, you need to list what are your highest priorities? And what's most important to yourselves? 
So is security your main consideration? A luxury main consideration? Or do you need to future-proof with a back office of some kind and the ability to expand your charges without incurring thousands and thousands of pounds of cost on your DNO? Write all those down and then make sure you give us a call and we can advise you through the best options on the market available at that time. So I hope that was useful. If it was, give us a cheeky thumbs up on that like button. Click subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications of our future episodes on charge points, EVs and all related technologies. And in the meantime, thanks very much for watching. Okay.